guys, thanks for joining me today. I wanted to do a quick introductory post on the Instant Pot. I've had a lot of you ask about the Instant Pot. Some of you guys have asked what it is, the different functions and models, what you can cook in the Instant Pot, and I've also received a lot of questions wondering if you even need an Instant Pot and things like that. So I wanted to make this quick video to just kind of introduce you to the Instant Pot and let you know what this is all about. So the Instant Pot comes in three different models. It comes in the Lux, the Duo, and the Smart. What I have right here is the Duo, but first I'm gonna introduce you to the base model, which is the Lux, and I don't have a Lux Instant Pot to show you, but it looks really similar to this. The Lux is a six-in-one model. The Lux does not have the low pressure feature. It only cooks on high pressure. And it also does not have the yogurt making feature. The model that I have right here is the Duo. This is a seven in one model. As you can see, it has all of these different features, which include slow cooking, sauteing, yogurt making, rice maker, and pressure cooker. It can pressure cook manually, or you can pressure cook on some of these pre-programmed functions and the smart instant pot which is the highest end instant pot is a seven in one just like the duo here however the smart has a larger display and it also has a programmable app that connects to your instant pot via bluetooth so basically an instant pot is a multi-purpose kitchen appliance. It can eliminate a lot of different kitchen appliances that you have just by purchasing this one appliance here. The Instant Pot comes in three different sizes in some models. Some models only come in one or two sizes, but the Duo here comes in a five quart, a six quart, and an eight quart. So I'm going to show you a little bit about what I have here, which is the Duo. It features a locking lid. This is perfect for the pressure cook feature because once you lock this lid in and your Instant Pot starts into pressure cooking, the lid is not coming off. This is a safety feature for the pressure cooker feature and it will not allow you to take that lid off once it's locked in which is awesome because that means you're not going to inadvertently take the lid off blow the house up when you're trying to pressure cook which is pretty cool so i'm going to take the lid off and i'm going to show you what's inside the instant pot features a stainless steel insert this comes out for easy cleaning and what you have right here is your heating element. Obviously, you don't put this under water. Bad idea. So here's your stainless steel insert. When I ordered my Instant Pot, it also came with this. I'm not even sure what these are called, but it's great for slipping inside and steaming some veggies. And then my Instant Pot came with this little spatula and ladle type thing, which I've never used. I'm not even sure what they're good for, but it came with it. And then the most important part, the cord. Now, you're going to notice something different between this and a slow cooker. An instant pot, the cord is detachable. A slow cooker, it's not going anywhere. So here's how you're going to plug your instant pot in. You're going to put one end of the cord in here. And now we're going to plug it in. Okay, my Instant Pot is off, which means nothing's happening right now. We're not cooking anything. Now, this is kind of cool. When you go to cook something, you're going to put your lid on. You get that little sound. You hear that, you know your lid is locked into place and you're good to go. Now, if you're pressure cooking, this steam release valve up here on top is very important for pressure cooking or slow cooking. If you are pressure cooking, 
make sure your pressure release valve is set to the sealing position. If you are slow cooking, make sure the valve is set to the venting position. You don't want to put it on sealing if you're slow cooking. You want some of that steam to release if you're slow cooking. Slow cooking, however, if you are pressure cooking, you want it to seal. Another great feature about the Instant Pot is that if you try to pressure cook and you don't have that steam release valve set to sealing, it's not going anywhere. You're gonna see a little alert right here on the front and it's gonna tell you, hey, I'm not working because you don't have the steam release valve set to the right setting. So it's very uh, spell safe, it's very foolproof. I've had a lot of people say that they're terrified of pressure cookers because their great grandmother used one and it exploded and roast went everywhere and they were scraping roast off the ceiling for years. You don't have to worry about that with this. It's, it's not gonna work if you don't have it set right. So just breathe a sigh of relief. You're not gonna blow the house up with this. Some of the questions, probably the most questions I get about the Instant Pot is, do I need one? That's a good question because these Instant Pots are expensive. Um, they're not cheap and if you're not gonna use it, don't shell out the money because this is an expensive appliance to just stick in the cabinet and not use. What I like to tell people is if you see yourself pressure cooking a lot or slow cooking or you need a slow cooker that sautés, consider the Instant Pot because this sucker can do it all. You can make rice in here, like I said earlier, you can slow cook, you can saute in this. Like if a recipe calls for sauteing before slow cooking, dump it in here, saute it, then switch it over to the slow cook feature, you're good to go. And if you want to pressure cook, again, it's all right here. But if you're wanting to buy an Instant Pot simply because you want, say, a sauteing slow cooker or you want to make awesome rice, but you're not all that interested in pressure cooking, don't buy this. You don't need it. You can pick up a sauteing slow cooker and also make rice in your slow cooker for a fraction of the cost of this. But if you really see yourself using that pressure cooking feature, then definitely go for this. It is a great appliance to have. In my upcoming videos, I'm going to be showing you some different things that you can cook in your Instant Pot using the slow cook feature and the pressure cooker feature. And I'll go through all of that with you, but today I just wanted to give you a quick rundown of the Instant Pot, hopefully answer some questions that you may have, and um, give you guys just some good tips about it. If you like this video, be sure to like it and subscribe below. Thanks for watching, y'all. Have a good day.